Welcome to Frost Astrophotography. In this video, we're going to install smart ventilation to the observatory, and I'll quickly run through the rest of the electric installation. Here we have the fan. It is normally used for uh, bathroom. So this is, is the fresh intel event. It's a slim uh, bathroom fan that is smart. You can control it and uh, program it with apps and stuff like that. Now, please note that I'm not going to do the electrical part of this installation, just to get it installed on the wall. To help me, I have a kit for the outer wall so start up by covering the telescope and then drill Position the fan according to your power cables and then mark the center of the fan for the hole. Now we have a watertight seal around the uh, vent and let's move on to the inside.
the fan has been installed by an electrician and I have configured it uh, right now it's running through a ventilation mode it uh, does this once every 24 hours but the normal operation of the fan is to ventilate at a very very low speed and if the moisture rises above 70 percent relative moisture in the air it will speed up to add ventilation to the observatory i can also control this fan with my home automation to completely shut it off during the winter for example when the air is very dry and i don't want to use it i can also use it to speed up to ventilate hot air from inside the observatory in preparation for a photo session let me run through the electrical installation of the observatory that i've had help with incoming electronics and networking everything is behind this box from that box i have cables in the walls and floor routing down to a box in the floor in this box i have two outlets here one is always on one is controlled by my home automation said wave relay from this box i have a conduit through up and through the pier and that contains all cables in the observatory or to the telescope i should say and those cables come up to here and i can disconnect them here in order to remove the entire telescope from the mount my Z-Wave camera was sensitive to uh, disconnecting or having a connector on the cable, so I uh, got rid of that. On this side I have a security camera installed, and that is power over Ethernet. I have a network cable in the wall here, and then I have a Z-Wave sensor that let me keep track of temperature, moisture, humidity in the air, light level and movement and so on. Then I have a power installation for an outlet that it is always on here and that powers my motor to the roof located up here. On this side of the observatory I have another outlet down here that is all also controlled by my home automation system that I can use for a heater. I have a fan that I can control on or off or I can have it always on and use the automatic features in the fan and when that is enabled it will control the airflow based on temperature and humidity in the observatory. Uh, this is mainly not to be used during the winter time because it is dry enough in the air. And finally on this wall I have a light fixture and a light switch for a light that I can turn on if I need to at night go out here and make some adjustments or something. So that is basically just a dumb light switch that turns the light on and off. Thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already doing so. And until the next video, I wish you have clear skies.